You can always be part of Eyewitness Report by simply downloading the Channels TV app, tap on the Eyewitness menu and follow the simple steps on how to upload your story. Always add location and phone numbers or any other form of contact so we can get in touch with you and follow up on your story or event of happenings around you. Now let's see what you already uploaded for the week. Our first photo shows water coated with petroleum product fuel drawn from a borehole in Akoka area of Lagos. Our eyewitness says this has been the lots of residents of Abdullahi, Ayutoro and St. Fimbus Road after an underground fuel storage leaked. Our eyewitness wants the government to save the people from dying as the leakage appears to be spreading out. New photo shows an unevacuated refuse dump within the National Stadium in Lagos. Our eyewitness wonders why the dump has not been parked for a long time, thereby posing health risk to people who use the track daily. The poor state of Ayinke Timpson is revealed in our next set of photographs. Our eyewitness says a drain was built without fixing the roads for them. The residents want the government to look into their plight as the road has become a connecting nerve for over 30 estates in Satellite Town, Lagos. And let's check out this video from Iwo Road in Ibadan, your, your state capital, showing young men and women hawking their wares on the express. Our eyewitness commends these traders for their enterprising spirit, but is worried about their safety. Is calling on government to find better ways to gainfully engage these youth. Next is this image, also from Iwo Road in Ibadan, the Oyo State Capital, showing this dump site in the middle of the road. Our eyewitness reporter is raising concern over the health implication of this and wants it cleared. He also asks that beans be provided to avoid a recurrence. This image from the Lagos Ibadan Expressway shows people sitting dangerously on an already overloaded vehicle. He is concerned about the safety of these passengers in case of an accident as well as their safety during a harsh weather condition. Now, those are your shots. Do keep them coming. It's time we called it a day on this week's package. Next week, we could be in your neighborhood if you've sent in your shot in line with giving guidelines. Let's do it again. Until then, I'll keep my eyes on you. I'm Chris Elems. Bye-bye.